we set up camp and we were just kind of chilling out in camp and uh, we heard the first truck coming by. One of the first trucks to drive by was a gentleman from Minnesota that we encountered about a month or so ago who was potentially violent towards us. You're one worthless son of a bitch. All right, buddy. You are one worthless son of a bitch. Why don't you go get a light? I heard you're an Indian. Are you Indian? Come here, come to my council. If you're an Indian, you come to my council and we talk. Guy himself looked really wired. He was really amped up. This is somebody who's been potentially violent, so uh, I was concerned, but at the same time, you know, anybody who wants to talk, that's something we're always open to. I hear you're an Indian, come on. Okay. Oh, 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 you accept the fight. No, I do not. Yeah, you do. I, you must not accept. Not that kind okay? of Indian, buddy. Okay. This is simple. Okay. Take the son of a bitch out of here. Mm -hmm. Simple, okay? Why? If I win, I live. If you lose, you die. I you must wanna, accept. I don't want to kill you. <laughs> I don't want to kill it's you. It's in the Indian way. Me. Not my way. My jaw just dropped when he said fight to the death because you just don't say that thing to people, kind of thing to people. Um, if Rod or one of us said that to someone, I guarantee you 911 would be called immediately and I mean there would be a huge uproar. I tried to explain to him that, you know, I had no problems talking to him, but I wasn't going to engage in any type of shenanigans, especially those that even flirted with the idea of violence because it's not funny. It's not funny to joke about killing somebody. And the fight is to the death. But why does it have to end with one of us dying? That doesn't make any sense. That's my challenge. That's what I no, want I to do. I don't accept that. And if you it consider proves that who is the toughest of the Indian. Then you are the toughest, my friend, because I don't want to kill you and I don't want you to kill me. The whole point we're here. It don't seem to be Indian to me. The whole point we're here is to avoid killing of wolves, of bears, of people. I will kill any wolf that I possibly can. I understand it has to be legal, and I do it. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that you're keeping it legal. And this shit right here with the bear hunters having fun is a bunch of bullshit. You what? mean us doing what? Monitoring, photographing yeah. it? Yeah. We have a right to do it's that on public lands. This is all of our lands. This is your lands to run your dogs. This is your lands to run your dogs. This is our lands to then take pictures. Then let us run our dogs without you doing these low no, 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 bullshit. No, 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 We won't do that. It's just bullshit. Okay, it might be bullshit for you, but you know what? My opinion might be that it's bullshit for you to run dogs, but I'm not stopping you because you're legal. We're legal too. You act like you're a god dang game warden telling me I can't run dogs. And yeah, you're apologizing now and you should. Mm -hmm. You should apologize for filming me, because I don't want to be filmed. I'm sorry for filming you. you but you're doing it again. Sir, if, That's if you don't want to be filmed, why do you, me to fight why do you to come the death? here and Let's do it. us? No way. The Indian way no, is challenged no. to death. I'd rather have a drinking contest with you. I can't drink. <laughs> okay, well, I, don't, I, don't, I can't die. <laughs> you know, we spoke. We sat on the ground together, and we looked into each other's eyes, and, you know, we had a good heart-to-heart. -heart and, you know, it didn't end the way he wanted, and didn't end the way I wanted, but at the same time, you know, it, after a very angry interaction a month and a half ago to a very bizarre but yet semi-friendly interaction, you know, that's progress. Have a good day, sir. Take care. You're still low life, both of you. <laughs> Honestly, um, the most bizarre experience I've ever had with a human being that wasn't schizophrenic. Yeah, that was a very interesting interaction, but it also uh, really represented I think uh, how a lot of these people feel that our simple presence of filming them and uh, being here and challenging bear hunting policy is, is a threat to their sport, a threat to what they like to do for fun, you know? So in that way, it was a very good uh, time to check in and uh, get the opinion of what these people think about us.